<clears throat> decisions. Hi, this is Rochelle with Scrap Craftastic, and I'm going to work on my brain dump traveler's notebook. This is the one that I have been using, but all of these covers are from MLG and Co. And if you're interested in MLG and Co, the link and my discount code will be in the description box below. Last night I was feeling the need to jot down some ideas in a notebook somewhere. And I do have a half letter or junior size disbound notebook, but it's a bit bulky just to be carrying around back and forth, back and forth. And I don't know, I just wanted something more relaxed, more um, informal, just to keep with me, like when I'm in my room or whatever the case may be, or when I'm in the craft lab late at night, piddling around and I need to jot things down. So that is why I went with B6 because I mean, it is slightly larger, but I just feel like a traveler's notebook is more informal than a disbound planner or a ring planner. So initially my idea was to use this leather here. This is the Raven leather, again from MLG & Co. This is a passport size. So that's about three and a half by five inches is what the insert would be, I believe. I haven't used passport size, um, I don't think ever. <laughs> I have this cover just because I like the Raven and I wanted covers in every size that I could get. So anyway, I went and pulled one of my pocket size notebooks just to see how it fits in here. And it is a little too big for this. I mean, I could get away with it, but I don't know. I think I'll just either make myself some notebooks or order some from Amazon. I haven't really decided yet. And this notebook I had done some watercoloring in. Not sure what where I was going with it. I was just kind of playing around one night while I was looking at TV and I was watching The Wolfman. <laughs> so anyway, that was in 2020. Wow. Okay, so I have this. I just need inserts for it. Maybe when I feel up to it I'll make some then I have this B6 and I was thinking of moving the inserts or some of the inserts from here to here I like this leather but just for carrying around in everyday use it's a little slippery for me and a little too floppy I like I just love the raven leather the most I think so I'm gonna try and get back into this notebook so at one point I had thought I was going to use a mini notes in here. So I just kind of stuck this notebook in here. Some mini disc bound. This I think was part of the wrong, wrong collection from back in the day from the happy planner. So yeah, I, I don't even know where I was going with this. I'm not sure that I even want to keep this in here, but that's what's in here. And then this is just a blank notebook. This is one of the notebooks from the Walmart's pen and gear travelers notebook. So I have that as pen and gear. Then I tuck this in here. This can probably come out where I had played around with one of my printable inserts and doing a spread using stickers from Icezella Jewels. So I'm gonna put that aside and let's see what we can do. So this is what is currently in this notebook, this pen for one. I wanna keep that pen the pen is from Isis Ella Jewels, and most everything in here is Isis Ella Jewels. So, like, I've got journaling cards that I probably need to put away. And notebook. This is an insert, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. end up doing with this. So I'm going to leave that in here for now. This is also an insert. Both of these are from Isis Ella Jewels. My intent was to use this as kind of a moon journal and I just never have done it, but I still have that idea in the back of my head to do. This is a envelope folder hybrid that I created. I'll link to the video in the iCard up above. So I'm going to take, I'm going to leave. Uh, do I want to leave this in here? I think I'm going to leave this the envelope pocket hybrid in here and I'm going to take the clip out so then I have this poly notebook 
and I'm not crazy about these poly notebooks it's composition style but I do have some notes and stuff in here that I want to keep and continue so I'm going to take that out so this is a clear cover from Isis Ella Jewels and I think I'm going to leave that in here I had some checklists um, inserts of mine that I have in here I'm going to leave all this in here for now then we get to this notebook where I did this cover. I'm going to take this one out too. So I'll, ha I'll have this and all of that. Okay. Then here is another notebook that I haven't even taken out of the packaging. Another card. This is the full moon uh, calendar. I'm going to leave that in there. So let's, it's a little skimpy now, but <laughs> we're moving out. So I'll put this on the shelf. <sighs> then I'll come back to it another day. Oh, and I also have these um, charms on here, the beads. And I don't, I don't even remember the name of the shop where I got this one from. It's page marks. I'm gonna leave those I don't know if I want to leave this in here so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get all of this in here and have this disbound notebook I don't know that I want the disbound in here but let's see what I can do let's see if I can fit all of that in there I think I can okay so I'm going to make end up making a jump band. Let's get those bookmarks out of the way. Um, I still have to come up with some idea to cover that. I just don't know what it's going to be. So I'm going to use this black elastic and do kind of double the height and trim a piece off. And then knot it up. Hopefully that's tight enough. Then I'm going to put the band around this one in the middle. And take this one out and put it on here like that. So I got two notebooks on one band. I'm going to slip it under this band. And if I needed to, I could put something else on this band in the center. I just don't have anything that I want to put on there right now. So let's get everything straightened out. Let's go on and put these back through. Probably need to work on untangling some of that later. Let's see. Is that going to work? It's a little thick, but it just feels better in my hand than the um, other leather does at the moment. And that's what that looks like. Now let's decide what to do with these cards. I really need to come up with a way to use these that is a little more productive than what I have been doing. Maybe I don't need the notebooks in here, but I do love these cards. But it's just that I have no use for them other than something like this. Hmm decisions so I don't really want to just stick these in here so I'm gonna put them back in this notebook and I might end up using this notebook for storage because I have a pile of inserts and things for uh, b6 size that I need to store so maybe we can do that real quick let me see so I have all of these things that I have used at one point or another 
Uh, this is another Walmart insert. This is just all decorative elements that I have taken out. Even got insert here from Halloween that I probably will revisit. But anyway, so I have all of this stuff that I need to store. Now, there's no way I can get all of this in this one notebook, but I can probably get some of it in here. I'll deal with that later. I'm just gonna keep all of this together and try and figure out how I'm going to store it all. But I'm glad I looked through that because I did find this reloadable dashboard. So it has these graphics in it. But if I wanted to change them, I'll have to slide them out and change them. But I want to keep this in here. So I'm going to put it on this first notebook, I think. It's not big enough, though. So what I think I'm going to do, since that's the case is move that to the back let's 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 rethink this <laughs> sorry about the back and forth let's move this out of the way again take this out let's try and get this organized properly so i got these tied off on that elastic all right so i'm gonna put this one in the back Let's put this around this notebook like so. There we go. It gives it a little pizzazz. I might end up trimming those ribbons off. So then I'm going to slide this all through. Because the Walmart notebook is wider. They're notebook is a little wider it's about a half inch wider than b6 size so my dashboard would wrap around it okay so now i can get the ribbons in the right place and i can get the charms let's put those in the middle here okay now there we go again i'm not sure that i'm going to keep this in here but I may because then I can jot down notes on here, tear them out. And even though this is the mini size, I can still pop them into my half letter disc bound. So it's nice to have this in here just in case. And what is this? This is an envelope that I made that I think I'm going to leave that in here for now. Okay. Hopefully this is gonna work for me. I just like something informal that I don't feel like I'm wasting paper to just jot down notes on. So you can see here, I was really going for it back in April. And then of course my slump hit and I kind of stopped doing a lot of things. This is May. So I know even when I'm just scribbling down notes, I do try to put the date on there so that I know when I came up with that idea or you know whatever the case may be. So it's this is April. Yeah, so I will kind of divide up how I'm going to use each section. Um, but for now, this will be my brain dump traveler's notebook. Uh, I don't think I'm going to open this one. I'm going to put this. This is too big for this. I do really love this notepad. So I may keep that one in here. It's gonna make it even more bulky. Hmm. I'm just gonna take off some. There we go. And then I'll just store the notepad with some of my other um, sticky notes and things like that. I'll stick that in there. I have bulk under my notebook. So there we go. That's what it's looking like. This paper, I really need to transfer this information from this page. I'm going to tuck it in here so that it's not sticking out. It's sticking out too. Okay. So I still need to work on the setup of this. I'm going to put these notebooks away or notepads. Then I need a pen holder. 
because I don't like that it just kind of floats around. But there's that. Let's see what we're going to do with the pa paper clip. Do I want to clip this poly cover to this? And go like that. Definitely need a pen clip. I have my eye on some on Amazon, so I may get one. So that is it, my new Brain Dump Traveler's Notebook with a disc bound in it. Hopefully this will work out for me and I will also come back and set this up once I decide what inserts I want to use. And I may make the inserts over the weekend or something, we'll see. So I think with the two of these, I should be set for notes and brain dumping. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you may be interested in these other videos. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.